Hello, LG Stylo fans, or anyone who's ever been interested in the new LG Stylo brand from LG. Today we are talking about the fifth generation LG Stylo device, the LG Stylo 5, folks. And it's here, and it's pretty, and it's nice, and it's the fastest Stylo yet as of the posting of this video. Are you excited? Let's go over it. So what makes this phone so special? Well, it's a beautiful 6.2 inch HD display. You're getting that 1080p experience. You're also getting a beautiful Snapdragon 450 processor, octa-core version. What that means is you're getting a faster experience than you would get otherwise on a lower tier LG. This is a mid-tier phone from LG. It's a device that is positioned to be sold for those of us that don't like spending over $500 on a smartphone, for those of us that are going back to school and they want a new phone, this is going to give you a great experience now what's new with this device versus the older lg models well you do have a little bit of a thicker casing um, you have a non-removable back you have a fingerprint sensor on the back very comfortable you also have a beautiful 13 megapixel lens over here it's going to give you some really nice pictures and photos of that flash right there you're also getting a face unlock ability as well this device will give you the ability to face unlock so you have both options the fingerprint and the face unlock so for those of you that had a stylo 2 stylo 3 before it those are some key differences between both devices for those of you that have never been on the lg world with the lg stylo here's one big big thing that comes with it ba -ba 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 -ba. it's coming it's coming it's coming right over here we have the lg stylo stylus Yes, folks, the Galaxy Note isn't the only major smartphone with a stylus out there. We have a major mid-tier smartphone, the Stylo 5, which brings a beautiful pen. Once you take it out, these beautiful options pop up. You have the draw chat, which means you could draw a beautiful little chat. You could wa draw whatever you would like. You could send it to someone if you'd like. You could play it. It comes up like that. It's very, very nice. You can even open it up over here and, and it'll give you a nice, beautiful effect. You could even change the types of effects, see? Remove it, change it to something else. Ooh, change it to this one too. Want something bright and holographic y. Click play, and it'll play for you. Wow, folks, that is some cool stuff right there. You have more options, of course. This comes, this is, these are features that have been part of the LG Stylo line for a while. You can even do a quick memo. You can even add more type of applications to the LG Stylo. Look, you have the GIF capture, you have the pop lens, scratch art. You do all this extra beautiful stuff, shortcut menu, so you could shortcut apps and open them. You could use this instead of your finger. It has that little fingerprint sensor uh, at the tip of the stylus that these new pens come with. Very, very nice, very nice. And if you don't wanna use it, you don't have to use it. You could just pop it right back in. Stylo 5, how does it stack up? So LG Stylo 5 gives you a beautiful 6.2 inch display, as mentioned earlier you're getting a beautiful 13 megapixel camera on the back you're getting a nice 5 megapixel in the front with that face id ability uh, it's not going to give you the same beautiful secure face id that the iphone is going to give you but it does give you that option to unlock your phone with your face um, you also get a micro sd option you could fit this up up to two terabytes on top of its internal speaking of internal you get 32 gigabytes of memory in here with three gigabytes of ram for a device that isn't that is an android device three gigs is a little bit on the low side but again it's a mid-tier device battery it's gonna last you a while 3500 milliamp so it's one of those good big batteries uh it does have that rear fingerprint as mentioned and the face unlock you do have the beautiful 600 megahertz support for extremely fast lte support on networks that offer the 600 megahertz support it does have fast charge so you could fast charge it with a fast charger you do have a silvery white color here there'll be more colors available through lg's website and of course amazon potentially it retails at 275 currently at a certain us carrier but you could get it for a similar price or something less elsewhere so again this is a mid-tier lg device it is really good for the price but it is not expected to compete with the likes of a g8 or an iphone 10s or others in the premium range now in terms of sound what are you getting with this device one thing that i really enjoy that these mid-tier phones are beginning to come with you have the dts surround sound um where you could give a better experience when using headphones um but you do have that beautiful swift youtube experience that i love to use to showcase the speeds of the device you know it is a beautiful display let's let's uh let's um look up a beautiful video of course this screen is not 4k but i like to use this video to demonstrate the colors of the device what it could do its abilities <coughs> so again it's a 1080p display you go up here to the options change the quality 
to the max 1080p quality that this device is capable of. We're going to go over here into landscape mode. I'm going to open it up, and there you have it, folks. Wow. Let's put the volume at the max. Wow. Let me go up here. See the brightness at its max. It's an absolute max right now. Beautiful, beautiful display. Look at that. Stunning, folks. Oof. These mid tier phones really are coming out beautifully. Wow. <laughs> so let's close it out, see how it multitasks with a video. in the background there you have it playing in the background you still have all your apps working as they should let's go into the camera so let's close this out and see what the camera's all about let's talk about it so here we have the camera wow pretty pretty good good quality camera there very very nice quality camera let's see the ai cam it has an ai cam where it uses AI to give you the best picture. The auto version, oh, look at that. You can change the filters. Very nice, very easy, very easy to use. Let's go over here, change the camera, go to Q lens. Let's allow it to take a, use a little bit of, oh, that's nice. So you take a photo of an item. So let's say you take a photo of this iPad. And it gives you a visual search, something that LG likes to have, very similar to the Google goggles. And it goes on Pinterest and it finds stuff similar to it. You have an iPad mini, you have an iPad. Very, very cool feature you have there with the style of device and the LG cameras. The camera's pretty okay for a mid tier device. It's not bad, it's not the greatest, it's not the worst, but it's something that's good. You get to snap some stuff. And you have different modes up here. You have the flash jump, YouTube live, panorama, you have the food. You have the selfie mode as well. Ah! You have the roof of my cubicle. Very nice, very nice selfie camera. Not bad. But yeah, overall, the phone's pretty okay. Right now, as of the posting of this video, this is the silver version that's going to be sold in the US on a major carrier. This is uh, going to be priced at around $275 right now. Um, you can get it cheaper elsewhere at the moment if they come out earlier on other US carriers and even through the LG and Amazon websites. But as of right now, $275 is the price point for it. Um, and it is pretty good. It is pretty good. It's a mid-tier phone. It definitely gives you that speed that you're looking for. Definitely gives you a slight upgrade over the LG Stylo 4 and 3 devices. If you're looking for a nice mid-tier Swifty device with those extra uh, stylus features, this phone will be good for that. Um, other than that, it does give you a close to stock Android experience. You see this app drawer here. LG has its UI, which gives you the ability to remove the app drawer and just use the apps out here. But this time we up, we added the app drawer because we like our similar to stock Android experience. It is not stock Android. It does use LG's uh, user interface mixed with Android, but it is running on the latest Android versions. So this device did come out recently, expected to last a good year or two. That is a really good meter device. Again, that's going to give you a lot for your buck. Um, pretty big too, 6.2 inch display, pretty good for the eyes. Um, you do have that LG game launcher, the galleries, and all those apps that usually come with LG devices. So as always, you guys, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Give me a beautiful subscribe, subscribe, please subscribe. We're almost at a thousand plus and go to get there. Share, like, let me know if you have any questions in the comments below and let me know if you're getting the LG Stylo 5 or what phone you're going to get. Thank you for your time. As always, Joey the Snapper, never signing out because I'm part of the internet. And thank you so much, little snappers. Have a great and wonderful day.